So, Libor Sashama, thank you for joining us on News Now. That Let's pleasure. dive now into the crux of the matter. Of course, Buhari has just suspended the CGN, Walter on again, and has installed uh, a, a new acting CGN. But the question on everyone's mind right now is, does the president truly have the power to take such action? He doesn't. He doesn't have such power. And, and that's why um, the president's action is not anchored on any provisions of the Constitution. If you look at section 153, subsection 1, you look at uh, paragraph 20 and paragraph 21 of um, the third schedule, a part one of the third schedule of the Constitution, you look at uh, Section 292, none of them gives the President the power. The one gives the NJC power to recommend. Uh, section 292 gives the National Assembly uh, power also to recommend. So that's why the President's decision is hinged on you know, a decision from the Code of Conduct. And that decision from the Code of Conduct, nobody seems to be aware of it. Exactly. So Buhari is actually saying that he took that decision based on a directive from the Code of Conduct Tribunal. And another thing is, I recall earlier today, uh, the CJN actually said that uh, he was going to inaugurate a, a, a panel for the elect, uh, ele election petition tribunal uh, on Saturday. And then this is coming on a Friday uh, he, uh, with, the, with the suspension of the CGN. Do you think then that because he was going to uh, uh, inaugurate this panel, that maybe this is politicized? Yeah, for people that have been saying this is beyond politics, it is very clear now that um, um, this is all about politics. And, and so the CGN had said he was going to inaugurate um, the panel, election the election petition, petition tri tri members of election petition tribunal that will look into the uh, tri election petition that will come as fall out of the general election. And then, you know, because the, the, the unspoken words had been that the government does not actually want, you know, the CGN to inaugurate or to nominate or appoint members of the tribunal. They are not too comfortable. You see, th th com this, comfortable. This, this all goes all the way back to the issue of corruption we've been talking about, vote, uh, vote buying, uh, election rigging, malpractice. It, there's no way you can avoid and, these and, issues. And, and so if you are... If you are promising to give you know, a transparent and free election, then allow the processes to run through. And so if people are saying you want to manipulate election and you want people who you are comfortable with to head the tribunal, it means there's truly you know, those people that are saying that you have some sinister move. And then these uh, subsequent actions are pointed to the fact that they did there a sinister move. And you don't, you can't, you don't use corruption to fight corruption. It's mm. not possible.